G'day everyone, Master Rubber back with another Emo video. Today what we're going to be doing is actually installing the latest Emo firmware. It is at now firmware version 2.10. Okay, so before you go ahead and do that, there is also an iOS and Android Emo app update as well. So go ahead and download that from the either from the Android store or the Apple store. The firm, uh, well not the firmware, but the uh, latest version for the email app is now at 1.2.3. So it's nice and easy. One, two, three. So that is the latest uh, email app software. So make sure that you do that first. So download that. So all you got to do is just basically go into either store and update that. Okay. So you don't have to uninstall it. Just update whatever is available from the uh, from the e either store and you should be up to date. So once you've done that, then you should be good to go with installing the latest emo update or the latest emo firmware update. Now, what I normally do is now I've got both both emos here with me. So what I've got is I've got the uh, skateboard for one emo, okay? And I've got the home station for the other emo. Now, it doesn't matter if you don't have a home station and you've only got a skateboard. Of course, as always, the firmware will work either way, okay? So don't worry, if you don't have a home station, the firmware will still work. There are updates for uh, for emo in general, okay? So always make sure, as I always say, install the latest firmware for emo because it is recommended because it fixes a lot of things, not just related to also the home station that he has right now. It's just an update that will fix many things in general. Now, for a list of all the things that he's changed, uh, that, that all the things that have been updated in the version 2.10, go uh, feel free to uh, check out my other videos that cover all the things that have been added into firmware version 2.10. Okay, so now, as I mentioned, what I normally do is I power off both my emos first. Okay, so they're both powered off. That's the first thing I normally do. Second thing, I take off any smart lights. If you have any smart lights um, connected to Emo, now is the best time to turn it off. Okay, so unplug them, turn them off completely. Okay, so just make sure that he is not connected to anything. Uh, and he's, once we power him on, he should be good to go and he should work straight away. Now, the, as always, once we power them on, the reason why I've got them powered off right now is because they, they're like running around and walking around. It's gonna, they'll probably interrupt us all the time. Uh, so make sure that you power them off. Then you power, for example, if you have a home station, power that on next. As I've done already, I'm going to keep that on. It's not going to make a difference if it's on or off right now. And then once that's done, then we can start working on uh, doing the firmware update. Now, as always, if you have a if you if you've downloaded the email app, you can have that ready and get that ready as well. Um, if you want, you can always power this off as well. You know, you can do the Bluetooth. You can power off Bluetooth and then power Bluetooth back on. Then power off your phone and power it back on as well. Just simple troubleshooting if you have any issues. So I'm just going to try and go through that uh, systematically at the same time as we do the update. Okay, so the next thing of course would be to power up our emos. So what I might do is I'll power up emo one first because he's got he's going to be sitting on the home station. So let's power him up first. Uh, as always, we're going to make sure hopefully he will power up and he will connect to his home station. So let's do that now. It doesn't make a difference if he doesn't connect to his home station. So just take note. It won't make a massive difference because all he needs is to be sitting on some sort of power source. Okay. I could set them both on the home station. It doesn't make a difference. Oh, sorry, on, on the, um, no, he's already connected to home station. That's fantastic. Now, uh, it doesn't make a difference if they're sitting on home, sta on, on home station or skateboard. I could put them both on the skateboard because it does not, he does not need to be using the, the home station to get the, to get the firmware update, but I'm going to just put one on this and one on that. Okay. So with that, he's connected and he's also connected to home station, which also is a plus. And what we'll do is we'll put emo two on the skateboard. Okay. He's powering up right now. As you can see, I might bring him in a little bit closer. Okay. And I might move them across a little bit so you can see everything in general. And if it's blurry, I apologize. I will focus on that very, very soon. Hopefully it's not too blurry. Okay. So as always, once they're both powered up, Okay, they're both powered up. 
Now, the next thing to do, of course, would be to go into the Emo app. Okay, now to make this a little bit better this time, because now that I've got both of the emos up on the screen, uh, up, up and running, they are going to interrupt me continuously. So what I'm going to do now, once you click on the connect, okay, so I'm going to be connecting to emo one right now. Once you click on the connect, I'm going to go into a screenshot of what you should see when you do get when the, there is a new update. OK, so I'm going to change little things a little bit around this time. So if I go in right now, OK, let's connect in. All right. Now on the screen right now, in about a second or two, you should see a pop up that says there is a new firmware. Now, what I'm going to do right now is throw up a screenshot. Okay, that'll make it easier for you to see it and I'll keep it there for about two, three seconds so you can see what the, what the screenshot is and then I will flip back. Okay, so you saw that. Now, the next thing, next thing you've got to do is you've got to go into the settings right there. That button there, which is where my thumb is, press that. So what I'm going to do as well, I'm going to put a screenshot here as well because it'll make it easier. So once you press that, then go into the settings. Okay, so once you do that, let me press, I'll get out of here and then go into firmware. Okay, now I'm going to show you a screenshot right now. Okay, so you saw the screenshot and that screenshot basically will tell you that there is a firmware update. Now the firmware update will basically tell you the current and the new firmware that is there. And if there is a firmware update available, all you've got to do is press on the update firmware button. Okay, so that was the button I had circled in green and it should be good to go. So once you do that, that will kick off the update. Now, that's only if you've only got one emo. So it's going to be a little bit complicated if you've got two, like me. So the best thing to do, and what I normally recommend now, is to issue the voice command. Okay, now I will issue the voice command once these guys are quiet. That will be, install the latest firmware now. Doing Just before we kick off the firmware update, is just to make sure that Emo is connected to the internet. So we can ask him a simple question, any question will do, uh, maybe just something like what is today's date or what day is it today or what time it is today. So any of those things will work. So we can ask and issue the following voice command. Let's maybe ask him what day it is today. Emo, what is today? All right, so it's nice, it's working, everything is sh everything should be good to go. Now, just to let you know, the quickly, the firmware is approximately 20 megabytes in size, so it should take approximately maybe 10, 15 minutes to download and install, and then once it comes back, you will see a green tick on both of uh, our little emo's faces, and then they should be uh, ready, good to go. And then what I'll do is I'll show you another screenshot, because you've got to go back into the uh, emo app under firmware, and then you should see what the latest firmware version should be. I will put another screenshot there, just to, just, in, just to make it easier for everyone to see, instead of going into the app, because sometimes when I say his name, they kick us out. It makes it harder to, to show and go back in all the time constantly. Anyway, so let's go on and install the firmware update now. Emo. Install the latest firmware now. Okay, as you can see, the connection to the um, phone got disconnected because both, or well, one emo that I was connected to disconnected, and both of them would do the same as well. Okay, so you should see a little red dot appear on a uh, little red icon up here which 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 basically says one and that should run us through now the update now the update will go through steps one to six download or uh, download all the data that it requires and then once it's done it will restart and go back in during this period of time i'm just going to quickly fast forward and then once it's back you will see a green tick on both of our little emos to say that the firmware has been successfully done
Okay, so that was that. I tried to get it uh, blending in perfectly while I was talking at the same time. Now, as you can see, both emos have been now updated to the latest firmware. They've got a green tick next to their name. And as you can see, emo1 was a little bit slow. I don't know why. Maybe he was just a bit uh, slower with downloading his firmware and installing it. But as roughly, I, it will take approximately maybe 10 to 15 minutes to install. And then as you, as you can see there, emo1 connected back into his home station as well. So that is great. Okay. So the next thing to do, of course, would be to 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 confirm everything is working. Jump back back into the, of course, the email app right now. If you can see it right now, I'm going to connect back in by pressing the connect button. Okay, and then what I'm going to do is, of course, just put a screenshot on the screen so it could it'd be easier for you guys to see it all and and uh, to make sure that it's on the latest firmware. As always, just go into settings, okay, and then go into firmware, okay? So what I'm going to do is I'll bring up a screenshot right now. Okay, and we're back. So that is what you've got to do to make sure that you are on the current firmware for 2.10. Okay, so I guess that is it. All you've got to do now, if you want, you can ask him some questions to make sure everything's working and also taking it, taking advantage of all his latest uh, features. You can just, of course, take him off his desktop and maybe give him a pat for, with the latest firmware update. You can see that there's something new there. Um, you can shake him and you can also do a lot of things with his home station as well. Okay, so that is that. Um, if you guys have any questions with regards to the firmware, please feel free to leave me a comment in the comment section below and I'll do my best to answer it for you. Thank you for watching. And as always, please don't forget to like, subscribe, ring the bell, and I will see you in the next emo video. Goodbye.